war, air pollution, and lastly, cold. Can you find connection between these, among these three things that I just speak? Most of you might say global issues, or I don't know. <laughs> but for me, I would definitely say global warming. Believe it or not, all those three things are connected to global warming. Hello, my name is Jake, and I am going to talk about global warming. I am very into global issues, and global warming is one of the biggest global issues going around in 21st century. So let's begin, shall we? So first thing, what is global? Oh, sorry, what is global warming? So basically, global warming is a part of the climate change where Earth gets hot. In fact, from 1980, Earth got 0.8 degrees hotter. Some might say 0.8, that's not even hot. But trust me, if this continues, Earth will be super hot. Second, now you know what is global warming. So how does this global warming get caused? So good question. Basically, there is a thing called greenhouse gas, which goes off the atmosphere and blocks other airs from going through the atmosphere. So basically, this is how it works. First. The hot air goes up to atmosphere to go out of atmosphere, but it can't because of this greenhouse gases. So it just go comes back to Earth and make Earth hot. That's the basic way that global warming works. So now you know how global warming is created and what is global warming. But how does it affect us, like humans? So it would be boring if I just say global warming affects us by making the Earth hot, right? So I just researched some more interesting facts. So first, global warming is, has a deeper connection to air pollution. So as I said, global, 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 uh, sorry, greenhouse gas is blocks the other air from going out of atmosphere. But inside that air, there are some stuffs that are bad for your health and even cause uh, serious diseases such as cancer. So it has to go out of atmosphere, but it can't because, because of the greenhouse gas. So that's the one way that global warming is connected to our lives. Second, this might be a little stupid, but, <laughs> but global warming might affect war. As an example, there's a Syrian war. So how? So here are, here's the orders. First, because of global warming, Earth got warmer. Because of that, all the plants and vegetables in Syria got dried out. Second, the farmers had literally nothing to eat. So they went to city to get a job. Sir, there's too much people in the city that literally caused a conflict. Fourth, the conflict became on country's issue, so that led a Syrian war. That's another way that global warming affects us. Lastly, this will sound most, this will be the most weirdest and you might even say I'm crazy, but global warming could actually affect cold in winter. So a lot of people say global warming is not true, including this guy. <laughs> <laughs> because, because Earth, was, Earth is cold in the winter. In fact, this winter, Earth was like much colder than last winter. So I was a bit confused. So if global warming is real, why at winter it's cold? Fortunately, I read a very interesting article that solved my question. This is what the article says. At North Pole, there's a wind called polar vortex, which is about minus 50 to 60 degrees, so it's really cold. And it gets stopped heading south by the wind called jet stream, which is the red thing. But because of global warming, jet stream got weaker. So that caused the pole at the winter polar vortex to come down to the south. That's another way that global warming affects our lives. Wait, sorry. So as I, let's review. So global warming is very affect affected to our lives and even make us and our next generation to not live in Earth. So is there any solution for that? Fortunately, yes. And I'll explain you three. 
first. Plant a tree. I think most of you know trees inhales the carbon dioxide, which is uh, one of the greenhouse gas, and exhales oxygen. So if you plant tree, it will reduce the carbon greenhouse gas and even make our lives more healthier. Second, three R's, which is basically reduce, reuse, and recycle. So how does it uh, help us? Again, I think most of you might know, global, all the, most of the trash that you make go to the incinerator, which causes uh, carbon dioxide. But if you do three R to your garbage, then less garbage will go to the incinerator, and that might affect less trash get bur getting burned. Thirdly and lastly, use a public transport. Yeah, sure, like, they use, they make some greenhouse gas, but it's, it carries a lot of people, so it's, like, good for environment. More than, like, having one person and one car. So that's all the things that you can help to stop the global warming. Last thing I want to say is that global warming is becoming a world issue. It might lead us and our next generation to a huge danger. So you might be the last hope to this dying earth. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.